The Victorian goldfields, steeped in history and dotted with abandoned mines, have long been a place of folklore and mystery. These lands, once teeming with hopeful miners and bustling with the sounds of pickaxes and shovels, now lie silent, their stories buried beneath layers of earth and time. The goldfields are a testament to the dreams and ambitions of thousands who flocked here in search of fortune, leaving behind a legacy of both triumph and tragedy. Ballarat, a town built on the back of the 1850s gold rush, is no exception. This historic town, with its grand old buildings and streets that echo with the footsteps of the past, stands as a living museum of the gold rush era. The architecture, the museums, and the stories told by the locals all paint a vivid picture of a time when Ballarat was the epicenter of a gold fever that swept across the world. Here, amongst the rolling hills and whispering gum trees, a different kind of gold was recently unearthed, a prospector's tale of a creature straight out of legend. The landscape, with its serene beauty and hidden secrets, seems almost tailor-made for such a story. The eucalyptus trees, standing tall and silent, have witnessed countless tales of adventure and mystery, their leaves rustling with whispers of the past. Angus James, a seasoned bushman with years of experience scouring the Australian outback, found himself face to face with what he believes to be a black panther, a creature long rumored to roam the Australian wilderness. Angus, with his rugged demeanor and keen eye for detail, is not one to be easily swayed by tall tales. His encounter, however, has left him convinced that the legends are true. The Black Panther, with its sleek, shadowy form, has been a subject of fascination and fear for generations. Ballarat, with its rich mining history and rugged landscape, provides the perfect backdrop for such an encounter. The town's rugged terrain, with its rocky outcrops and dense underbrush, offers the perfect hiding places for a creature as elusive as the Black Panther. The old mining tools and equipment, now rusting and forgotten, add to the sense of a place where the past and present collide, where history and legend intertwine. The old mine shafts, overgrown trails and dense bushland offer ample hiding places for an elusive creature. These hidden corners of the landscape, untouched by time, are the perfect refuge for a creature that thrives in secrecy. The dense bushland, teeming with wildlife, is a world unto itself, a place where the ordinary rules of civilization do not apply. Here, in the heart of the wilderness, the Black Panther can move unseen, a shadow among shadows. Stories of strange sightings and unexplained events have always circulated amongst prospectors and locals, passed down through generations like precious nuggets of gold. Around campfires, under the vast Australian sky, these tales are told and retold, each telling adding a new layer of mystery and intrigue. The prospectors, with their keen sense of adventure and deep connection to the land, are the keepers of these stories, their voices carrying the weight of history and legend. But Angus's encounter, captured on film, has thrust the legend of the Black Panther into the spotlight, captivating the nation and reigniting the debate about what truly lurks in the shadows of the Australian bush. The footage, grainy and enigmatic, has sparked a media frenzy with news outlets and wildlife experts weighing in on the possibility of such a creature existing in the wilds of Australia. The public, too, has been captivated, with many sharing their own stories of strange sightings and unexplained events. The legend of the Black Panther, once a whisper in the night, has become a roar, echoing across the land and capturing the imagination of a nation. Angus was prospecting a remote area outside Ballarat, a place known for its rugged beauty and rich history of gold mining. The Australian bush stretched out before him, a vast expanse of untamed wilderness. The air was crisp, filled with the scent of eucalyptus and the distant calls of native birds. Angus had been out here many times before, but today felt different. There was an electric charge in the air, a sense of anticipation that he couldn't quite shake. His metal detector hummed a familiar tune a steady rhythm that had become the soundtrack of his solitary adventures. Each beep and buzz held the promise of hidden treasures buried beneath the earth. Angus moved methodically, sweeping the detector back and forth, his eyes scanning the ground for any sign of a glinting nugget or a forgotten relic. The sun was high in the sky, casting long shadows that danced across the landscape. Suddenly, a movement at the edge of his vision sent a shiver down his spine. He looked up, 
his heart pounding in his chest. The world seemed to slow down, the sounds of the bush fading into the background. Angus's eyes darted around, trying to locate the source of the disturbance. His breath caught in his throat as he spotted it. There, moving silently through the undergrowth, was a large black feline. Its sleek body blended seamlessly with the shadows, its movements fluid and graceful. Angus had heard stories of big cats roaming the Australian wilderness, but he had always dismissed them as myths or exaggerations. Yet here it was, right in front of him, a creature that defied explanation. Angus, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. The sheer size of the animal was staggering, far larger than any feral cat he had encountered. Its coat was a deep, glossy black, and its eyes glowed with an eerie luminescence. Angus felt a mix of awe and fear, his mind racing to process what he was witnessing. Bigger than any feral cat, with a long, sinuous tail and a power in its movements that was just... unnerving. The creature exuded an air of dominance, its every step a testament to its strength and agility. Angus couldn't tear his eyes away, mesmerized by the animal's presence. It moved with a confidence that suggested it was the true ruler of this land, a predator at the top of the food chain. The creature paused, its luminous eyes catching the sunlight filtering through the trees. For a moment, their gazes locked, and Angus felt a connection, a fleeting understanding between man and beast. The cat's eyes were intelligent, almost knowing, as if it recognized Angus as an intruder in its domain. Then, with a flick of its tail, it turned away, disappearing into the shadows with an agility that belied its size. Before melting back into the bush, with an agility that belied its size. Angus stood frozen, his mind reeling from the encounter. He had always considered himself a man of reason, grounded in the realities of the natural world. But this experience had shaken him to his core, challenging everything he thought he knew about the wilderness. Angus, stunned by the encounter, fumbled for his phone, his hands trembling. He knew he had to document this moment, to capture proof of what he had seen, his mind raced with questions. What was this creature? How had it remained hidden for so long? And what did its presence mean for the ecosystem of the Australian bush? He managed to capture a few precious seconds of footage, his heart pounding in his ears. The camera shook in his trembling hands, the image on the screen a blur of movement and shadow. But it was enough. Enough to show the world that he wasn't crazy. That the stories of big cats in the Australian wilderness were more than just legends. The footage, though brief and blurry, shows a large, dark animal moving with an unmistakable feline grace. Angus watched the video over and over, each time feeling a surge of adrenaline. He knew that this encounter would change everything, that his life would never be the same. The footage, though brief and blurry, shows a large, dark animal moving with an unmistakable feline grace. It was a tantalizing glimpse of a creature that had eluded capture and study for so long. Angus felt a sense of responsibility, a duty to share his discovery with the world. It was a moment that would change Angus's life, turning him from a solitary prospector into the center of a national mystery. He knew that his footage would spark debates, that experts and skeptics alike would scrutinize every frame. But he was ready, ready to face the questions, the doubts, and the excitement that would come with his discovery. Angus's encounter with the mysterious black feline would become a defining moment, not just for him, but for the entire country. It would reignite interest in the legends of the Australian wilderness, drawing attention to the hidden wonders that still lay undiscovered. And for Angus, it was the beginning of a new chapter, one filled with adventure, mystery, and the thrill of the unknown.